Hello, welcome to the Mad Comments tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how to edit your custom comments. In the first tutorial, you learned how to create the very first custom command with math commands. In this tutorial, you will learn more details about how to edit your custom commands so that you can start creating more complex ones. After you create a command, the command gets automatically registered. So when you type help and the command name, you will see that there is some basic help, which is predefined by mat commands. Now, with cmd delete, you can delete the command, which then makes it uh, unregistered. But because PocketMine doesn't allow plugins to unregister commands easily, this plugin just simply modifies the help and description of the command and disables the command. So the command doesn't work anymore, but it's still there. Only after you restart the server, the plugin will be away completely. So after restarting the server, when you start, when you try the command again, it will not be there after being deleted. So now you can create the command again from scratch. But this time I will show you how to create a command that does help does have some meaningful help. So instead of typing just the command name, you type also the command description. And after a pipe You type the usage. And now when you try help hello, you will see that the generic help is no longer there. And the help that appears is the one that you provided when creating the command. Now, what if you want to modify the command? Let's say you want to rename it. You can just use the slash cmd modify and you can easily rename the command. Now, when you type help with the new command name, you will see that the description is still there, but even the command usage, because it expects uh, to have the command there as it is, has automatically changed to the new command name. So let's start adding some functionality to the command. With slash cmd add, we will add the first command. As you may remember from, from the last tutorial, slash cmd add adds anything that you type in as a command to the end of your command procedure. So by adding this first command, we made it work. And when you type slash hi, it will do what you want it to do. Now, by typing slash cmd add again with the hi, which is the command name, and then another command, this will add more functionality to the end of the procedure. So when you now type slash cmd slash high, it will do the two things in the order. At any time you can type cnd list to see all the commands that you have defined. And when you type slash cmd list and the command name, 
you will see the detailed listing of the command procedure that you have defined. As you can see here, every line has a number that helps you to see what's happening in what order and the numbers can be helpful for other things as well. For instance, if you want to edit a line, you can use slash cmd edit command name and the number of the line and then type new command for that line. So when you now type cmd list and the command name, you will see that the procedure has been def has been edited. So you can now try again and see that the behavior has changed already. If, if you don't want to modify existing lines, but want to insert a line between the existing lines, there is another command, which is slash cmd insert, and that lets you insert line of line between existing lines. You just use the existing line before which you want to insert the new command, and it will shift all following lines so that the new command becomes the line number that you specified. Now, just like you can use slash cmd delete to delete a command, if you also specify a line number, it just deletes one line from the procedure and not the whole command. So when you now type cmd list high, you will see that it has two lines again, but the number two is missing because that's the line that you have just deleted. The sequence of the numbers doesn't have to be uh, continuous. There may be gaps in it. Now, another thing that you can do with the command is you can disable or enable it. So when you type slash cmd disable and the command name, it will disable your command. So when someone tries to use it, it will give him an error. This is very useful when you're editing your procedures and you don't want to break things. You just temporarily disable the command and let it be disabled until you're finished with your modifications. Another thing that you can do is to unregister your command. As you notice that normally when you create a new command it gets registered so it becomes a regular command understood by the server. When you unregister the command that means the command will not be registered with the server when you start the server up. After doing typing uh, slash cmd unregister, the command is still working. But when you restart the server, the command will no longer work. Because during the startup, the plugin will not register the command with the server. As you can see, the help is no longer available because the command has been deleted. But after restarting the server, it will not get registered again. So when you try to type slash high now, it won't work. But the, plugin, the, the command is still there, the procedure is still there. And you can actually run it using the slash cmd run command. And this is pretty useful because you can have procedures that you don't want to be available as commands for the users, but you want to call them from other commands, from other procedures. 
Now let me show you one more thing. By default, all new commands that you create becomes enabled and registered. But you may want to disable this because when you're creating a new command procedure, you don't want other users to be able to use it until you're finished with it. So using slash cmd config, you can change the configuration of the plugin so that new commands are not automatically registered or enabled. So when you now create a new command, let's say hey, you see that the command was created but not registered, not enabled. So when you now try slash cmd add to add some functionality to it It will add the command to the procedure, but the command itself is not available yet because it has not been registered and it has not been enabled. So the Minecraft server doesn't know this command yet. You have to type slash cmd register and the command name and this way tell the server about the command. Now you can finally type slash help to get help of the command. And when you type the command with the slash slash hey you see it's already recognized as a valid command, but it's still disabled. So you have to use another command slash cmd enable to enable the command. And now you can finally use the command. So now you know how to edit your own commands and before you get to another tutorial to actually start learning how to write your procedures and what you can do with the plugin, you can start on your own by checking one of my own pre-made sample command procedures. If you type slash cmd install, you will see all the commands that are already available for you to grab from me and you can use slash cmd install and the command name to install that command procedure to your copy of the plugin. So in this case I just installed the countdown command and as you can see, it has become one of my defined commands. So when I type slash cmd list countdown, it will show me the whole procedure. And this way you can just install any of the commands that are available for me and examine them and learn by reading my code and trying to modify it. So because I have disabled the automated command registering and enabling, I now have to manually enable the command. and also register it.
and now I can just try it out. All the simple commands that I created also have the basic description and help. So as you can see, that description is there. And now when you type slash countdown, you will see what this command procedure does. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is a pretty good example, right? And you can just learn from my code and write your own. And if you want to recall what the com what all the commands for editing your commands are, you can just type slash cmd help editing. And this lists you all the commands that are available for you to edit your command procedures. That's all for now and see you in the next tutorial.